best guess. So he's just your average heart surgeon, plant eating comedian turned children's author. Yet yeah, not the typical guy you randomly bump into. So this morning we're going to speak with Bassem Yusuf. He's joining us live to share about this inspiration behind your new book, The Magical Reality of Nadia. Good morning to you. Morning, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. It's so good to have you on. So you went from a heart surgeon to comedian. Explain to our viewers at home, how does this even happen? I have no idea. <laughs> I was just like a heart surgeon, uh, minding my own business. Suddenly there was a revolution knocking on our door in Egypt. And then I found myself involved in all of that. And then I just did like a few YouTube videos, went viral, and then I, the next thing I know, I'm having my own political satire show. <laughs> found myself on John Stewart's show. John came to Egypt, <laughs> there he was on my show, and then I found myself like everything was taken away and I had to escape and I came to America. And now I do stand-up comedy, I write children's book. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> um, but you're still a doctor, right? Are you still taking care of people? <laughs> no, no, no. I actually, I, uh, actually, I quit medicine uh, uh, when I started my show and because of that decision, many more patients are alive today. Okay, I see. <laughs> All right. Well, then you did your service, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now you're yes. here in America. Uh, you explained what kind of brought you here, obviously, you know, what was going on with the government and your show in Egypt. Uh, but what are you up to now? I mean, tell us the process of even writing a children's book. Well, well, the children's book was something that I never thought I would do, but Scholastic were amazing and they helped me a lot kind of like, you know, putting me on the right path. I mean, I'm doing comedy now, doing stand-up comedy. I'm actually here in Houston, just finished a weekend of shows in the worst possible week ever, but people were amazing and they were laughing. But the children's book, uh, Scholastic and I kind of uh, uh, collaborated on creating this project where I want to talk to little children, middle school children, about things that are important and we hear uh, now a lot of stuff that uh, relate to diversity, acceptance, empathy. So I wanted to use magic and history in order to tell the story and I'm inspired by Nadia, my own daughter. That's why the, the book's name is uh, The Magical Reality of Nadia. And basically Nadia is a middle school girl that goes into those historical magical dives with uh, an ancient Egyptian uh, teacher who's like the genie of Aladdin, right? And he shows her stuff that is related to uh, ancient Egyptian mythology and history and then she comes back to her life as a schoolgirl here in America and it help and these stories help her kind of get over the, the difficulties she's going uh, through in this in school mm -hmm. it's I, I enjoyed writing this book a lot and uh, Catherine Daly uh, my co-author was amazing uh, she kind of breathed life into the characters of the book so I'm very 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 proud of having the book out and I hope a lot of people have it. So if you have children, get it for your yeah. children. If you don't have children, buy the book and give it to someone with children. Or <laughs> give you it to someone with kids. And I'll tell you, Bassem, I mean, I'm, you know, my family's from Iran. We moved to America and going to school in America. And, you know, you don't see books with characters like Nadia. I mean, we don't see many Middle Eastern books, uh, you know, here at all. So this is pretty unique that you've created this. Yes, well, there's two like there's two things that I like about the book. Number one, that like the protagonist is Egyptian, but she's also American. I mean, I don't want people to think that this is just like for people of color. No, no, it's not for people of color. It's also for everybody because there's a lot that Nadia in the book she learns from her other uh, from uh, from all of her friends from all different ethnicities, and everybody in the book learns something, whether you are white or brown, it doesn't matter. And uh, and also, it's not like really one of those like on the nose books. It's not preachy. It's just it's full of like magic and uh, it clean, I, I always use the, the analogy of like this is like Aladdin but with a schoolgirl <laughs> instead of Aladdin oh. because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of like magic and excitement and actions and 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 and, and historical dives and magical dives into history and uh, I, I it's just like uh, it, it's a very adorable book uh, my daughter Nadia she has a problem with the book because she's like Dad, Dad, this is not accurate. It's like, <laughs> my, uh, and I said, like Nadia, this is not an autobiography. This is an <laughs> fictionalized version of you. So it's like, oh, okay, now and I'm back. Okay, fine. It's not her whole, whole her true story, but <laughs> you put, to, put a little <laughs> magical twist on there too. Uh, but also, I do want to ask you because you you said you're in Houston now. Is that right? Where you were just doing comedy oh. shows during the winter storm? Yes. What were you thinking? <laughs> oh, like, I mean, I have to say that I have to thank every single. Uh, audience member who came out to see the shows. I mean, we were laughing in a, the most um, critical weekend we can ever 
imagine in uh, Houston. I was lucky that I came in after the worst that has passed. But uh, I was here in the Houston Improv for a weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, I did four shows, and people were amazing, and we were laughing, and we were having an incredible time. I, I toured around the United States with a one-man show, telling my story, uh, using comedy to, te uh, uh, and, uh, to tell the story, and people were just lovely. Mm -hmm. And just the people of Houston are amazing and resilient. And uh, I just continue to go every weekend. I'm in a different city in America. So this is my way to explore this amazing country by just going there and doing comedy everywhere. You know, I feel like the people of Texas needed a good laugh. So I'm sure they appreciated your comedy there uh, as they're freezing without water. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, Basim Yusuf, it's so good to have you on. Thank you very much for giving us your time this morning. Thank you so much. Of course, the magical reality of Nadia. I can't wait to see that.